If you're having tension issues and you can't figure out what's going on with your machine, take a look at the kind of thread you're using and how you've got it actually set up on the machine. And Did you realize that there are two main ways that thread is wound onto the spools? The kind of spool that you get determines how you're going to place it onto your sewing machine. Hi, I'm Patty and welcome to my handmade lifestyle. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. On this channel, you can expect to find all sorts of makes, bakes, and a little bit of gardening. On this channel, we like to celebrate the analog and the digital world, and I'm gonna guess that you do too, or you would not have clicked on a video about sewing machine thread. So while you're here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, yeah, let me know what kind of thread are you using? Thread spool, that is. We're not talking about thread type today. That's a whole other kettle of fish. <laughs> Today, we're just going to talk about this and this. I'm sure you've seen both of these in the fabric store. And I know I've always gone for these my whole life. Recently, I started using these and my first experience with them was actually an accident. They came in a craft kit that I got uh, through a Craftsy subscription. And I had never used this thread and I didn't realize that <laughs> if your machine has a certain kind of thread holder, you use this. Let me show you what I mean. This is kind of the top view of my Singer sewing machine. This is a fairly new to me machine. I got this um, at the beginning of the summer, actually at my little grocery store of all places. And I'll link over to the video where you can see um, where I brought that home and was talking about it. Uh, I've been sewing on this for several months and I really enjoyed it. And you can see this machine comes with both uh, a thread spool back here and another one over here. And this is true of all machines. If you get this type of thread, it's wound a particular way and it is designed to go on these horizontal spools. So that's what that horizontal spool is about. If you get this type of thread, it's wound a different way and it is designed to go over here. And that's the way that is. And actually it should wind like this. It should come off like that. And it has to do with the way the spool th spins and the way the thread comes off. If you put this kind of spool on this horizontal spool holder, uh, you're gonna have a mess. You're gonna have all these crazy tension issues. And if you get one of these taller spools, it's designed to feed in a horizontal fashion. So if you're having tension issues and you can't figure out what's going on with your machine, take a look at the kind of thread you're using and how you've got it actually set up on the machine. This is the top view of my older Kenmore and the older Kenmore only has this horizontal uh, thread spool and I used to put this thread on and I was always having trouble with the way that it sewed and I couldn't figure it out and it was constantly adjusting tension and all of that stuff and actually it was all about how the thread itself was loaded onto the machine. And you can actually see, if you look here, there's a picture that shows the thread coming off that way and threading through here. So if you're having that tension issue, if your machine just doesn't seem to sew right, no matter what you do, um, look at the kind of thread you're using and how you've got it loaded into the machine and if you're like this machine and it's a horizontal feed and you haven't tried this style of thread I would um, strongly suggest you give that a try and it was also recommended to me uh, by a quilter that you stick with Gutterman uh, cottons and 
stay away from the less expensive thread that they uh, cause a lot of issues in the machines so you definitely want to go for a little bit of a splurge when it comes to thread it does make a difference in the way the machine sews and then make sure that it's loaded properly that's today's video i hope you found that helpful and informative and i was really surprised when i learned about this and it makes a huge difference in the way your machine will sew. So yeah, go check your machine out, look and see how your thread spool sits and what thread you've got on there. And like this Singer, it has both. So I can use whatever. But the old Kenmore only takes that horizontal feed, so no wonder it gave me so much trouble. I think it's fascinating how the littlest thing that you think is not gonna matter at all makes a huge difference in the way your sewing machine actually functions. So yeah, take a minute, see what's, what's going on there, and uh, yeah, if you're <laughs> using the wrong type of spool, uh, make a change and see what happens with your sewing. And uh, let me know in the comments what you found out and what kind of thread your machine takes. I would love to hear about this. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.